everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm challenging myself to become a Poshmark ambassador in one day, just today, these 24 hours, and it's gonna be a big undertaking, so it's already 9.15, so let's jump into it. If you're anything like I was a couple weeks ago, you're probably wondering, what even is a Poshmark ambassador? What are the benefits and how do you get there? So what are the unique benefits of becoming a Posh ambassador? You can be featured on the Find People page for new users where you will be regularly recommended based on a new user's specific size and brand preferences. This I think is the number one thing because in Poshmark, if you're familiar with it, there's kind of like a feed and the feed is like who you're following, but it also will show Posh ambassadors. So I think that's one of the main things is your products get promoted more so than they would otherwise. You also get early access to Posh Fest tickets, our annual conference that tends to sell out fast, access to the Posh Insider, our monthly newsletter, the opportunity to join Posh Affiliate where you can receive credits and Poshmark brand and merchandise for completing campaigns, growing your social media presence while you're at it. What can I do as a Posh ambassador? Connect with other Poshers in your community through events like Posh and Coffee or Posh and Sip, get more eyes in your closet through co-hosting in at Posh parties, and share your experience and mentor others by becoming a closet consultant, campus rep, and or Posh Fest speaker. The reason that I'm doing this today and the reason that I think this is important is primarily because your stuff is shown more often because that will lead you to more sales. And then second, you get a little like star in your profile. So it's kind of like being verified. I think it just basically shows like trustworthiness and credibility. Basically it's just like that little extra check mark when someone's thinking about buying from you that it's like, okay, wow, they've done this before. I'm gonna trust them. Next we're gonna talk about the criteria that you have to meet to become a Posh ambassador. This is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So community shares, you have to share at least 5,000 items from other Posh's closets. You have to share your own items at least 5,000 times in the community. You have to discover and share items from at least 50 new closets, so new poshers that like haven't made a sale yet, you have to find 50 of them and share their items. You need to have at least 50 available items in your closet. You have to have had at least made 15 sales. You have to have an average purchase rating of at least 4.5 stars. So again, that's why that star actually means something because of these criteria. An average ship time of less than three days, and you have to have at least given one love note to another posher, which is like when you buy their stuff and then you just like leave a little comment, like it was good, like a review. So now I wanna let you know where I am with these criteria. Criteria. Poshmark notified me probably about a month ago that I was getting close to becoming a Posh ambassador. So at that point I looked into it. So when you go onto your profile, basically you go into your closet and then you click about and then you see under my name, it says become a Posh ambassador. So we're gonna click on that. And then it shows you like all this criteria. So I've been on Poshmark since May 3rd, 2015. I kind of just do this semi-casually, but I always have a lot of stuff left over that I wanna sell, so I do really enjoy selling my clothes. I've had 81 listings, so I think some of those are like what I've sold and what's active. And then it says, you're almost there, keep poshing. So I have 86% progress towards becoming a posh ambassador. So I'm gonna click check your progress. So where it's blue is the stuff that I still need to accomplish today. Where it's green is what I have. So let's talk about what I've done right so far that's gotten me to the 86%. 81 new posture shared out of 50. So that's something that when I was notified, I really actively worked on, and so that criteria is done. I have had 55 sold listings. I needed a minimum of 15. I have a five star average seller rating. You need greater than 4.5. You need less than three days of an average ship time. And my average ship time is 2.2 days. And I have given a love note. So what I need to work on. Number one is I need 5,000 community shares. I have 2,249 community shares. So I need over half of the community shares. Basically what that means is when other people post things, you share them. Now, me having 2,249 is a huge deal. When I was notified this, I swear I had like 100. Like I barely had any. Basically, I didn't understand Poshmark. I didn't understand how it works. So a lot of Poshmark thrives on you sharing other people's listings and them sharing yours. And that's how people get sales. So when I share someone else's, they all get notified and then like they will ideally share mine and then my stuff's getting to their audience, their stuff's getting to my audience and vice versa. So Poshmark really, really, really encourages that. That's something that just me being a casual seller, I didn't understand. And so I would share my own listings, but I wouldn't share other people's just because I, I just didn't get it. Okay, I just didn't get it. I now understand that. And so recently over the past couple weeks, I've really been trying to share listings. And let me tell you, it's intense. Like me getting to this number, I'm like, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this today because it doesn't sound like a lot, but finding over 2,500 listings and like sharing them out, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. Self shares, I have 4,947 out of 5,000. So still quite a bit of sharing to do today. And then I have 
26 available listings out of 50. So I'm actually really impressed with this self-share number. This actually seems very doable. I only have to share my listings 53 times. That number was way higher a couple weeks ago, but I've been trying to like work on it actively. I have 26 listings right now. So once I get 50, like I have to have 50 in order to get this done. So I'll have 50 by the end of the day. So if I share everything once and then something else three times, then I'll be able to get there. So while I do think this is gonna be difficult in an actual challenge today, I do honestly think this is pretty doable. The 24 listings that I have to get, I actually have picked out behind me. So they are over here. I'm gonna take you along every single step of the way and show you all my tips and tricks for doing these things so that if you wanna become a Poshmark ambassador as well, you can do that. The first thing that we're gonna focus on is we're gonna to try to get some of these listings out. Listing your clothes, I, I personally don't love doing it. So this is gonna be an undertaking for me doing this many listings today, so let's jump into it. So I'm gonna show you all of the 24 things that I'll be listing today. I'm basically gonna do as many as I can and then I, when I get bored, I will take a break and I will share some things. By the time this video is posted, everything will be listed. So if you want anything, feel free to go ahead and grab it, but that's not why I'm doing this. I just wanna show you what we'll be uploading. Let me grab the boxes. <laughs> Okay, first we'll show you shoes. These are just some cute little gladiator sandals. I have these pink Steve Madden shoes that I think are great with the whole Barbie movement. And then I have some Uggs to sell. These are all in the boxes and they're all like wrapped up really nice. So the first ones are these ones. They're like a lizard one. They're size seven. They're very nice, very neutral. These are a great boot for the fall, especially since Uggs are back in. Then we have a classic, these black short sparkles. The short sparkles are also seven. These are size eight another classic boot. And then my sister has these shoes she wants me to sell because she can't walk in them and no wonder, they are huge. They're so tall. Next I have this cute little set from Acta. It's like this red kind of orange corally color. It's really nice. So it comes with this sports bra and these little bike shorts, size extra small. Then I have some men's stuff we'll be getting rid of. This is like large and extra larges, but there's this Under Armour one. Here is a Nike Air hoodie, black and red Nike hoodie. And then I have two of these Mother of the Bride dresses. One of them has an open back and one of them, the back is closed. I have a pair of black American Eagle jeans. These are size triple zero, which are like a 23. We have a men's North Face, a pair of little Adidas running shorts. Another active set, this is seamless. So these are the pants. They are full length. I'm selling these as a set with the sports bra and then this long sleeve shirt and it has the little like thumb holes. And then we have some bags. Everyone likes bags on Poshmark. We have this nice Michael Kors. It has a lot of compartments on the inside. We have this Kate Spade that I've clearly taken very good care of because it's in this bag. All right, so here it is. This is a really beautiful one that I used to use for work. I just don't use it anymore. I still have all of the packaging on the inside and then it opens up here, opens up here. There's a really beautiful, nice wallet that I'm gonna sell with it and then it comes with the crossbody straps. Then I have this Nike hoodie to sell. It's like a lightweight, nice one for like running. This beautiful altered state dress. Looks like this, it's really long, very flowy. I have a little pink, Victoria's Secret pink romper. This is really good for like a beach cover up or just like a casual day. I have this dress. This is loft. And then I have some Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson makeup. So 24 items doesn't sound like a lot, but looking through that, it is, it's a ton. I try to grab shoes, bags, dresses, men's stuff. Basically, I try to pick a variety of things that I thought like were kind of in season, like would be good for right now because if we're gonna take all this time to post it, you know, hopefully it'll sell. So let's get into it.
quick update. So it's around 110. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with my progress. This is what I've gotten done so far. Not much in comparison, okay? There's a lot to do. I got about five things posted. So this is what is actively up right now and i know it's not a lot but i am actually really proud of it because on the general day it's hard to get me to even do this much and i have done some sharing so right now the lighting is incredible this morning like around nine it was it wasn't great like it was kind of hard to get good pictures so i did some uploading this morning and then i had some other work that i had to attend to so now i am back i am focused i am ready i had some lunch and i just made a coffee to get me going we're gonna do as many listings as we can like i'm gonna try to like super focus actually let me show you what i'm gonna do I bought this little productivity cube and it has 15, 20, wait, 15, 20, 30, and 60 minute increments. So you literally just kind of like turn it over. Oh, see, I turned it on. So if it's like this way, the 20s at the top, so it's on for 20 minutes. So I think I'm gonna set it for 60. I'm gonna try to not get distracted at all, which is kind of hard for me. And I'm gonna try to get as many listings as I possibly can done, really take advantage of this good lighting. And then when I get bored, I'm gonna have to do a lot of my sharing and I will share then the tips on how to get the most shares as possible because it really is hard to find like that many listings. So I have some really good tips for that. So I will share those. See you all soon. went off and actually did pretty good. I only got distracted like very briefly, like twice. I now have 37 available listings. I need 50 as a reminder. I came up with a new, better way of doing this. This is probably like dot to everybody else, but I've just never really realized this before. So with Poshmark, I've found that when you just take pictures in your camera roll and then you try to upload them, they usually don't work out well because Poshmark crops them so much that like if you take a picture up close and you don't have a lot of border, then you don't see the whole piece of clothing that you need. So I take them on Poshmark, but I always feel like I have to like take the photos and then list everything. So what I did this time is I took pictures of all of the clothing that I have for like today. And then I came over here to my desk and I'm seating and I'm seating and I'm seated and I'm sitting here and I was like going through and like listing everything. Basically what you do is when you take the pictures, then you just click cancel. So you don't click cause you can't click next because you need like a title and everything. You click cancel and then save draft. And so when you go to post, then you can just click like sell and then like up here in the corner is drafts. So you click on drafts and then it shows you your drafts. So I have three more things, two of like the formal dresses and then one of like an altered state dress. So I'm gonna do those real quick and then I'm gonna do like the same thing where I have to take as many pictures as I can because Again, the lighting's still good, but it's 2.14, so it's getting to the time where like, it could start getting a little not as bright and stuff. It's usually like, the, like late afternoon that's the best. So I'm gonna focus on bags next, because I feel like bags do really well on Poshmark. I have two of those and a case made in Michael Kors, and then I'll probably do the makeup, just because I feel like that'll be a little quicker, and then I'll tackle the shoes. But we're doing really good, and what I've been doing is like, as I go, like as I'll post something, then I'll see something real quick and I'll just share it. So I've gotten very mid Minimal shares today but really this is like the this is like the main thing that like at night I can sit for hours and just share stuff if I have to but during the day is when I need to get these listings going so I think I'm at 89% now so that's really exciting but I'm gonna set the timer again for another 60 minutes actually no I'm gonna do these postings these three listings that are in my drafts then I'm gonna set it for another 60 minutes and see what I can get through guys I just finished all the clothes there's 40 listings in my closet officially and we are 90 percent there 90 percent to being a posh ambassador i'm so excited i honestly can't believe this is happening like this really is gonna happen today i didn't know if it was gonna be able to i i mean there's still a lot of sharing to do but i do think it's possible guys i really do so now i'm gonna get started on these bags i'm setting my timer to 60 minutes hopefully i can get to some of the makeup at least as well and then i still have like these boxes of shoes
guys. As you can probably tell, it's later in the day, but I have some exciting news to share. I am now 94% through. So 94% on my way to being a Poshmark ambassador. We have also hit two more thresholds. The first one that I hit today is that I hit the self shares first. So like I said, I've been really working on this the last couple days, but here are my tips. Here's what I've learned. So as you're going through the process, one thing that I didn't know is that when you create listings, you are self sharing. So when you create a listing, it's automatically a self share. So all of the 24 listings that I created today were a self share, which is really awesome. That really helped me to get where I needed to be. And then you can also share your listings to your followers. So that's a big thing that I did a lot throughout this process in order to get to 5,000. And then you can share to posh party. So there'll be like random posh parties, like Nike under or whatever posh party. And then you can share your Nike listings or it'll be like a, I don't know, they have like maternity posh parties. They have petite posh parties. They have whatever, just like random different posh parties. And then you can share your listings to those things if it qualifies. Today there was a men's one. So because I uploaded four men's items, I was able to share to that. And there was a beauty care one. So I was able to share a couple posts that I had for that. So that's the first one that I met. The second one that I met, you heard me say already when I listed 24 is I did manage to get through all 24 of my listings. I am so proud of myself. Like if you're someone who's been on Poshmark a lot and you just do this for a living, you may be like, oh, come on, whatever. But I really took the initiative to put out like my higher priced items, like the nicer ones, the ones that took more effort. So I just feel very proud within myself. And that's kind of what I was hoping to get out of this the most is to be able to like get that stuff going in my closet because I love it. Like I love sharing what I have and I love going on there and checking and I love when I make a sale. But if I'm not actively putting in that effort, you know, like I keep the stuff so it might as well be listed so I feel good about it because I feel like hopefully this will prove to me it's not that difficult and I did learn some skills like how I said it helps when you take pictures because I was thinking I could take pictures and then like when I'm out and about and I just have a few minutes rather than like going on Instagram I could just like hurry up and write the post so I think that's really awesome the only thing that kind of stinks okay it's 8 1 p.m. And I did have dinner already, so that's good. We're cleaned up from dinner, but I have only 2,635 community shares out of 5,000. So only slightly over half. So the rest of that 94% is just sharing other people's listings. Now I have been doing that today on and off. Like I've, I've been doing that throughout the day as I saw things. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have been trying to actively get this number up a lot over the past couple weeks. And like, it's very time consuming. We've also been doing an earlier bedtime. I have an earlier morning tomorrow, so I can't just like be up all night, like messing around on my phone. So let me tell you the ways, if you're trying to do this yourself, the ways that I found are really good to be getting like, a lot of shares because honestly, if you just try to like go through and share, like you're gonna run out of listings that you see pretty quickly. So one of the main things is you'll see like on the feed, people you follow, new listings. So right there, there will be new listings and you can look through those and you can just share them. So for example, like I've already shared literally all of these. I haven't shared this one, okay. So you click on it, you click share and you click share. And honestly, like that may not look like a lot of steps, but it is a lot of steps when you need to share 2,500 listings in like an hour. That's not gonna happen. But anyways, so then you can like go through and it's like, okay, brands I've looked up. So I've looked up Vestique, which is like a Charlotte boutique. So I'm like, oh, okay, like this is cute. Let me share this out. The other way, which I did today, and this was actually really exciting, is there are these things called posh shows. If you're unfamiliar, a posh show is like a live show. So they can share their own listings live and they can also do like sell together. So people can like put in two of their listings. So I did that today. So I went to two posh parties and I kind of just like hung out for a while. I got to interact with people. And then, so what I was doing is every single listing that was in there that people were trying to sell, I shared their listings and then I would go into their closets and I would share more there. And that is a great way because you're helping people out. Like these people are on the posh shows because they're actively trying to get sales. So then I go into their closets and I like share a bunch. So hopefully that'll help them get some sales. Also like this person right here, this is probably someone that I follow or someone that I've interacted with. So their stuff will come up. And honestly, this is all extremely cute. So I can go through and I can just like share these. And then if I wanted to keep going, like after I did all of these, I could go into this person's closet and then I could share them that way. And I will definitely be doing that a lot tonight as well. And then you go down and trending brands. This is another great way because for example, I can click Michael Kors and then I see the post by Michael Kors. And so I can just kind of go through click share on whatever I like. And then, so recommended trends. So there's coach handbags, trench coats, cargo pants, blah, blah, blah. You can do that there. Market stories, 
whatever. Now I have two more ways that I'll be doing this. Number one is that if you think of brands that you really like, so okay, off the top of my head, I love Olive and June, like I love Olive and June nails. So I can go up here and I can search Olive and June. My sound is on, sorry about that. And then I can go through, okay, Olive and June nail stickers, cool, share. So then that's a share. The other thing that you can do is a lot of times, like I said, when you share other people's listings, they'll share yours. So a lot of times like I will share something of theirs and then they'll share something of mine and then I just go into their closet and I like share a bunch of stuff. But today, because I was uploading, this is incredible. Look at all of these. Literally all of this is people sharing my listings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to go get a shower and then I'm going to sit and like literally click on these people's platforms and I'm going to literally just like share a ton of things out of their closet. Now in pursuit of this, I do still try to share things that are nice. When I originally started doing this, I would only share things that were like in my size. And I realized that's silly because not everybody that follows me is my size. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of variety. So I share a lot of things that I think are nice that I think other people would like to buy. And I definitely am more free about it now that I'm trying to get so many. So I'm kind of being more like liberal with my sharing. I'm just kind of sharing, you know, just trying to, trying to share the love, get the love out there. The other thing that I thought would be a really fun experiment is I wanted to see how many people, like how many followers I had at the beginning of this versus the end. The reason that I was like, let me pay attention to this is because I was thinking if I'm sharing over 2,500 posts, I'm going to be annoying, right? Like when you share two posts on Instagram a day, like two feed posts, people are like, oh, weird. You know, it's just like a thing you don't do. So I'm really like, I was really curious to see like, would people unfollow me? Because I've been doing this a lot, like trying to like get my shares up over the past weeks, I can already tell you that no, actually I've typically been getting more followers because you're engaging with people. You're putting your stuff out there so they see you and maybe they like your stuff or like you've shared a lot of their stuff so then they wanna follow you or whatever it is. Okay, it looks like when we started this morning at 921, I had 921 followers. I think that's right, 921, 921. Uh, and right now I have 933. So that's cool. It's not like it's a ton or anything, but it's neat to see that like, if you are gonna do the same thing and copy, like you probably Probably won't lose followers. So that's like a cool thing to know. Okay, so yeah, shower. You'll see me doing some more sharing and we'll check back in, in a little bit, see what I can do. But guys, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta get this going. I love you. As you can see, it's daylight, so it's not the same day. I regret to inform you that I was not able to become a Posh Ambassador within the 24 hour period. However, I am one now. I wanna tell you the journey since we last spoke. It is now about three days later. The day following the night that you just saw, I was very busy and didn't have time to do anything Posh related. Yesterday, I spent a lot of the day over a lot of time. I shared over two thousand things yesterday. What I think is funny is the other day, like when I was doing this challenge, it was like once I got those listings, like once I was close and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get these listings done, like the 50 listings. It was like something clicked in my brain and I even said like, it's definitely happening today. Like I know it's gonna happen today. And I think that's so funny because it just shows like I felt so good about the fact that I was able to upload that many listings in a day that I just immediately was like, yeah, like it's done. No guys, it takes so long to share that many items. And so I did all of the tips and tricks that I told you late last night. It might've even been midnight. It might've been today. I don't know. I finally was able to get all of my shares done and I'm thrilled. So I want to walk you through this process a little bit. We said that we would do a little check mark, you know, a little checkup on did I lose followers or did I gain followers? What I found is that I had gained followers during this time. So I believe I started at 921 followers and I now have 974 followers. So the benefit of that, I guess, is that like when you post things, those people potentially could see your listings in their feed. So this whole thing is really great because a lot of times like when I would share people's listings, they'd share mine and I had pages and pages. You could just scroll of where it was like, these people shared out your listings. I think that that's a really great thing. I think it's nice to just like help people out and like, like if you see something, you're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like that's so cute, but it's not my size. Someone else would love this, share it, you know? And like now I know that and I will be participating in the community a little bit better and I am really excited for that. So I ended up with 5,003 shares. So immediately, of course, I run to my profile to see if I had that star and like to see if I had like become a posh ambassador. And so what I found is that it said 100% you're on 
almost there, keep poshing. So I had gotten 100%, like I had completed the challenge, but it hadn't registered yet. And so then it ended up saying Posh Ambassador and I got a little check mark and it says achieved may take up to 24 hours. And so today it looks like it was actually this afternoon. It says, cue the confetti, you qualify to become a Posh Ambassador. Join now to access exciting perks. So then on my profile it says, you've qualified to become a Posh Ambassador. 62% accept invite. So there was more to the process. So I was interested to see what that was. So I click continue. It says you're invited to the Posh Ambassador program. Exciting news, you're eligible to become a Posh Ambassador. Once you join, you'll unlock access to fun programs and exclusive opportunities to help you grow your business. So you click continue. It tells you about your Posh Ambassador expectations, maintain an active closet, participate in the Posh Ambassador community, provide great customer service, and be in good standing with the community guidelines in terms of service. Next, Posh Ambassador benefits. And then it just like outlines the things that we talked about earlier. You click next. And then my phone blew up okay I got a notification and I got an email saying congrats your posh ambassador and welcome to the posh ambassador program so I like got it and it showed my activity so you can see that all of those lines that were blue before were now green so I had met all of the guidelines and then you can see on my profile up by my name Savannah S I have a little star which signifies that I'm a posh ambassador which is so exciting now it shows posh ambassador achieved I have a little check mark a little green check and then it says posh ambassador 2 62% in progress. So guys, let me know if you want me to film a video of me going and trying to get Posh Ambassador 2 status. There are like three more things that I have to do. So if you want that, let me know and we can try to achieve that because why not? So I hope this was helpful. I will leave my closet in the description box below in case you wanna check it out for any of the listings that I uploaded or if you just wanna connect with me on there, feel free and add me. We can you know, share each other's things. Okay, hint, hint. In order to get Posh Ambassador 2 status, you have to share 20,000 listings. So yeah, if you want your stuff shared, follow me. You know, I can, I can check out your closets. Anyways, I love you all so much. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this. Leave me any comments that you have below, any videos you wanna see, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.